welcome to Python for Data Cleaning and Preparation. Let's begin. Here on Kaggle.com, I chose a data set for cleaning and landed upon this Netflix data. You can see here that the uploader of this data set had used SQL to conduct a number of data cleaning tasks. We will be using Python. We'll take a look at some of the rows here and then go to Google Collab the online and collaborative environment for Python. First up is importing those essential libraries such as pandas as pd and numpy, which we don't really use here. I also got some visualization libraries. Equally, they're not really used at all, but I had them just in case. Primarily, this is a pandas cleaning analysis. Next, we imported the data set from the file we downloaded at Kaggle. Then I explored the head, the first five rows. Taking a look here, there's a few things I wanted to clean. Exploring the shape, we could see this was quite a substantial amount of rows with a good number of columns. Next, after looking at the shape, I explored the info to understand the data set. See if there are any null values. Here, all of the rows are non-null. Fantastic. I could also see those data types, which will play into this analysis later. Next, I felt it was important to get some key descriptive statistics with df.describe. This method allows us to see the min, count, standard deviation and more of our dataset. Just to build a mental image of it. Now, I knew there was no null values, but was there any duplicated values? To determine this, I did df.duplicated. Date added. That was an object data type and it was not a date time object and so we needed to change that. Here you could see I'm making some notes as I go along so you could see what's happening and so that anyone reviewing the code could understand it. Now I will convert this object from a string to a date time. The reason we want to do this is so that we can properly analyze and use this field. Next, I want to look at the info of the data set to check it really did change and we could see it did fantastic. We can see in this listed in column, there are multiple genres in one string separated by a comma, comma separated values. We don't want this. We want this to be separated into different columns. Otherwise it'll mess up our reporting. So we'll just split the column on the commas. Next, I noticed duration was also the wrong data type. So that was something else I wanted to address. I got a list of columns here and saw if there's any that I wanted to remove. In doing so, I noticed that I didn't want the show ID. You can see here that I split the column and I added some notes to explain that I did this into three separate fields, with the first one acting as the primary classification. Then I did the very same thing for the director column. We'll see here how I did that. a bit of debugging, it is now done. If we look at the df.head, the first five rows of the data set, we can see listed in it's now split into three columns. I have also taken the director column and you'll see at the end there, we've got director one and other. I will want to delete those initial columns and drop the first listed in. So I'll make a note of that and we'll do that here. Taking a look at the value counts of the duration column, we can see that there are a number of different ways in which it's reported. Sometimes it will say season one, two or otherwise, and sometimes it will say minutes. This is a problem as they are not comparable and will be difficult to analyze. The reason for this is that some of them are TV shows whilst other are movies. There are a few different ways to do that. And you see, I put a note on screen here, how you might want to tackle it. So you may want to split the data set in two, separating it from seasons to movies. Or what I did here is that I just made an assumption about how many episodes are in a season and how long each episode was. Now I don't have the domain context to know whether that was accurate and it's really not the best way of approaching this. I'd recommend you try an alternative approach of splitting the data set. Before adding any new columns, I wanted to remove some those that I highlighted earlier. So I assigned the various different fields to columns to drop. That was the show ID listed in and director. 
Then I took the approach of dropping those columns stored within that variable. And you can see it's very quick and very simple. Cutting here to the next step in the analysis, you can see I had a little play on how we could best add this new column. Let's break down step by step what I did. I converted duration to minutes based off the units and assumed one season was 30 episodes, one episode being 24 minutes. Then with the first line of code here, I extracted the numeric elements from the duration column. And this means there's no other textual values in there. I converted it to a float and created a new column. This acted as a way of standardizing the duration variables and ensured a consistent numeric representation. What I would have done had I gone into this further was made it into two data sets. But all the best and good luck.